everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Surgery Squad. So the last time we did uh, the retinal detachment surgery, today we're doing uh, cataracts eye surgery. And if you guys don't know, cataracts is when, well, they, they'll explain it in the video, but it's when um, your eye gets really hazy and your, eye, and your vision gets really cloudy and you have to remove the cataracts and replace it with an artificial lens in order for you to see. Um, and when it's done, uh, the person that I spoke to that got surgery on both of their eyes said that it's like your vision is now in HD. They said it's very clear, uh, even more so even before they had the cataracts, um, their vision is now so much better. So let's get to it. I still love that the scalpel is the loading thing. Hello, and welcome to Surgery Squad's Cataract Surgery. I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll be guiding you through this procedure today. A cataract is a clouding of the lens inside the eye. The lens is located behind the pupil and focuses light on the retina. A cataract causes loss of vision of that can't be corrected with, with glasses, hmm. contact lenses, or even LASIK, so it must be surgically removed. We are going to remove the clouded lens and replace it with a new one called an intraocular lens, or IOL. The surgery takes about an hour and can be done on an outpatient basis. Today, our patient is a 66-year-old woman who has noticed an increased blurriness in her vision as well as decreased night vision. She saw her eye professional and she detected cataracts and recommended her to us for surgery. Let's begin. First, we need to administer a relaxing sedative intravenously. This will make our patient drowsy, but not put her to sleep. So just to clarify, um, the person they showed in the photo had one eye that was cloudy, but sometimes you can't even tell um, that the person has cataracts from just looking at their eyes, which is why you need to see an eye doctor. But as a little info uh, thing showed up was that they said 68.3% of Americans 80 and older reported having cataracts in 2010. Um, I have a feeling that might be the same amount, maybe even less since the technology is always improving, but that's a pretty high percentage in that age range. Okay, so here we go. Oh, you see the needle dragging down. Just prior to surgery, additional drops of anesthetic are applied. Okay. Here you go, ma'am. We'll use a device called a speculum to hold the eye open wide during the procedure. Place the speculum for me, please. Hey, don't look around too much. We begin the surgery with a small, painless initial side port incision. This is called a limbo corneal incision. It's done by making a small cut in the limbus with a crescent knife. Okay, lady, don't look around. Next, we use the crescent knife to make a corneal tunnel into the interior chamber of the eye. Oh, this must feel so weird. Ah. Uh. A thick, transparent viscoelastic fluid is injected to fill the space between the cataract and the delicate underside of the clear cornea in front of it. This is done to keep the cornea from collapsing during the procedure. Help me out and inject the fluid into our patient's eye. Okay. Oh, what's the sound? Now we need to make a 2.85 millimeter wide incision at the edge of the cornea for the cataract removal. This is done with an extremely thin diamond scalpel. Oh, that looks deadly. <laughs> oh. A bent needle is inserted into the incision and used to poke a hole into the clear sac that holds the lens with the cataract. Okay. 
The needle there is dragged goes. to cut a line in the sack. With the incision made, we'll insert the forceps to grab the torn sack and tear a circle out of it. Ah. Uh. Now you will need to inject fluid into the incision to separate the lens from the capsule. You know, it's one thing when when someone who's gone through this tells you the process. It's completely different when you actually see it happening. This causes the lens capsule to float so that it can be rotated during the next step. We'll now perform phaco emulsification, or phaco. This is done by using ultrasound to break up the affected lens so it can be removed from the eye. Whoa. To do this, we pulse and drag the device oh. to cut across the cataracted lens. Drag it. Ah. Uh. What the? We repeat the phaco from the other direction to create four pieces. Oh man, I don't... Uh, there it goes. The eye only looks orange because our surgical lights are reflecting the off the back of the retina. The is then used to suction out the pieces of the old lens. I don't think that fact helps anything. <laughs> oh. I'll need you to remove the last remaining soft cataract material out of the eye. So I have to... behind the clear, empty lens capsule. Okay... Oh, click on each. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's like a vacuum. When you're done, inject more viscoelastic fluid into the lens capsule to keep it from collapsing. Okay. The flexible intraocular lens is rolled up for insertion by the assistant and placed in a soft tube. The IOL is now injected through a tube into the vacant lens capsule. Thank you, assistant. Oh. A probe is used to spin the lens huh. into place. Just grab onto the eye. Spin the lens. The thick fluid we added to the eye will need to be removed, and any remaining microscopic cataract fragments should be oh. rinsed out as well. The incisions in the eye are generally self-sealing, very rarely that we need to add a suture to close the incision. In our patient's case, we don't need any sutures. The lens is now in place. Our patient will need someone to drive her home after cataract surgery and she shouldn't drive until she's cleared at her follow-up appointment tomorrow. We'll prescribe medicated eye drops to use several times each day for a few weeks after the cataract surgery. And she'll need to wear a protective eye shield while sleeping or napping for about a week after surgery. A special pair of post-op sunglasses will also need to be worn to protect her eye from sunlight and other bright light as her eye recovers. You did a great job today, surgeon. <laughs> While you're here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries here at SurgerySquad.com. No, that made my skin crawl. <laughs> okay, we already did um, the carpal tunnel. I believe that was episode two that I did that. And we have the root canal surgery. Oh, that made my skin crawl. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you later. Bye.